Hey guys, so welcome to this tutorial creating a volcano island in Houdini on CG Circuit. In this first chapter we'll cover the basics of Houdini's terrain generation and instancing. It's important to note though first that this is a very basic overview of the system, but you'll become familiar with the nodes, how it works, and how it's set up. For a more in-depth view of Houdini's terrain generation system, you can check out David Ferreira's tutorials on CG Circuit. You have Intro to Terrains in Houdini and Unreal and also terrains using satellite data in Houdini. So with that in mind, let's get started. So for our volcano here, I'm actually gonna start with a shelf tool and then we'll kind of break down a few of the nodes. So we just make sure we navigate to our terrain effects shelf tool here. And I'm gonna control click on the terrain mountain. So that's gonna create this mountain in a certain scale already, which is a good starting point. And it's also got this kind of main feature in the middle here, which is gonna be a good starting point for our volcano. So if we just kind of go through our nodes here, what it's doing is we've got a tube here, and we've got a height field, and it's projecting the tube onto the height field here. So all your terrain nodes, you can find by pressing HF, which is short for height field. So this is where we're gonna find all of our nodes for our terrain generation. If we keep going down here, we'll see that we're projecting our geometry and then we're blurring it out. And then it's creating a distort node. This is one of the main ways to get all of your detail in the generation. And we got things like amplitude, different types of noise. This is an overall distort and then down below here, we've got the actual noise for a mountain here. And then after that, we've got an erode node. And this is a node that we're gonna have to simulate to add in all the details for erosion. We got a ton of different things to dive into like hydro, thermal rates, advanced, and precipitation for rain and how fast that's gonna fill up things like lakes and a lot of settings that you can really kind of go in, have fun with, play around with. So for instance, if we just press play from here, the erode node is gonna take over and it's gonna start kind of fast tracking, doing this time lapse and eroding away the mountain here. And we can define all these parameters through these tabs here. And then finally we have the visualization, which is how we're viewing all of our nodes here and then we've got our different masks that is creating and we're coloring those based on our masks. So what I wanna do with creating our volcano here is just I wanna edit the base geometry first and there's plenty of ways to create your own volcano. I'm just gonna do it really simply here by just editing the main tube here. So first of all, I'm going to change the tube to a polygon and let's see let's give it let's give it some more columns and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a boolean to subtract to subtract out the center top here so let's create a sphere and a boolean And let's just plug those both in. And let's move the sphere up 400. Let's make the overall scale 100. And I don't want a super wide cone, so I'm going to just elongate it in Y a little bit. And again, let's turn this to a polygon and maybe increase the frequency. All right, so in the Boolean, what I'm gonna go down to is, let's select subtract. I'm gonna use, well, B from A. Let's turn into uh, show all objects. All right, so here is our Booleaned out little volcano there. So that was pretty easy. So now I just want to kind of sculpt this just a little bit. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but what I'm going to do is based on our reference here, 
And this is a shot that Image Engine did on Jurassic World. So I'm just kind of referencing what they did here. So we've got this main kind of conical volcano, and we've got some cool ridges that lead up to it. So I'm just going to create these ridges very quickly and easily by just editing some of the points. And I'm just going to drag those out. So I'm going to go and select the points. I'm just going to kind of maybe select a few of these, press T, and I want to snap to the grid here. And then we're just going to kind of drag a few of those out. And you'll see when all the noise gets put on here, you really get to see really easily how this is going to look. So it's a really kind of quick, quick way to sculpt. So we're just kind of trying to get the overall quick shape here. So move these back a little bit. And then just kind of go ahead and Keep doing that till you get something that you like. Oops. Maybe make some areas a little sharper than others. Select this little guy, press T, kind of snap him out. We'll do another one of those. Do one really big one. Oops, this one didn't snap to the grid. There we go. Just a couple more. All right, so there's pretty much our volcano with these ridges. So now if we just real quickly take a look at our height field project, we don't have enough space for it to create all this. So we just need to increase the size of our height field generator here. And right now we're a scale of a thousand, a thousand, you know, which is pretty big for a mountain, I guess, but I'm just going to make sure that I'm just going to create this a huge, a huge mountain. Make sure to cover everything. And then in this blur here, I don't want to remove too much of the detail. So I'm going to reduce the blur. Just give it a little bit. And you can see how quick we're just kind of creating this, this mountain here. But before we get into some of the distorts in that, I just want to make sure, so you see how in our distort here, we kind of got this square top. I'm just going to keep going on the edit here. I'm going to add an edge loop around the top here, and that's going to give this just a little bit of extra detail around the top there. So I'm just going to add a poly split to the top here. and. Let's just press enter in the keyboard and now we can just kind of cut across the top. Just manually create an edge loop. Okay, well I just had to do it in two sections there to get all the cuts done. So after this I'm going to, if we just take a look at the final or just the distort, I just want to get an overall scale sense for the top there. And you can see what our poly split did. Add, add a little detail, maybe not much to the top here, but I actually also want to just reduce the top scale. So I'm just going to grab all of the points from the top and Press E, and I'm just going to scale that in a little bit. Oops, too sensitive, so 
you know, maybe scale it in halfway. So now it, the mountain looks bigger because the top looks smaller. And also I can just, oops, oh, my snap to points is still on. So now I can just kind of move it up or down and get an overall feeling for the scale a bit better. Right, so now that we have that done, One thing we can also do if we want to edit a bit more is subdivide the geometry. That'll give us some more points to play with or however you want to model it. So now you can see by adding some of that extra detail, our mountains got a lot more kind of to work with here. So in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and start working on some of the noise to create a better look.